Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, I just post sneaker videos, financial stuff, and pretty much just stuff about my life. If you guys are not down for that, you know, you can feel free to click off the video, maybe leave a hateful comment, a dislike, even though they don't show dislikes anymore. YouTube, I don't know what you guys are doing. But yeah, you guys see the title, five of the best ways to make money as a teenager. You can make up $100 a day. Kind of just put that in the title for you guys to click on it. You could make $100 a day, but it just depends on how much effort you put into it. You know what I mean? But these are just a few ways that you can make money, whether you're in high school, early stages of college, or I don't know, just college in general, or you're just doing like a part-time gig or something like that, and you want a little extra side cash. These are some things that might help you. So let us get right into it. Also, I apologize for the structure in this video is absolute garbage. I didn't really make a very structured script to this video. I kind of just wrote ideas down on a note and we're going to go from there. So. And also a lot of these things I've done as well. I'm not going to speak on stuff I haven't done because that just wouldn't make sense. How am I going to tell you to do something if I've never done it myself? So with that being said, let's get right into this video. Number one, car washes. When I was in high school and I was down bad for some cash, I would always just ask people if they needed their car washed. Honestly, mainly family members and neighbors. I don't know. I just never felt comfortable going to like outside my neighborhood. Probably could have made a lot more money that way, but I would just go on people's doors say, hey, Need a car wash? Um, I'll do it for 10 bucks. I knew nothing about like how much I should charge and stuff like that. I just wanted some money to like, I don't know, get a new video game or get whatever I needed at the time. But yeah, that's kind of what I did for a little bit of cash. I think I was doing that like freshman year, sophomore year a little bit, but I wasn't doing one of these things standalone. Um, it was all these things combined and I was never going too hard at just one thing until I found the one, but I'll get into that later. Next up is thrift stores. This was a little bit later in high school when I started wanting to make a little bit more money. I would just go to thrift stores with my good friend, Mr. Aaron right here, and we'd look for stuff that we could flip on eBay or goat or something like that. Whether it be like a vintage t-shirt that we could buy for $2, sell it for 20. I remember one time I found these Adidas Ultra Boosts. They were brand new with the tags. Bought them for 20 bucks and sold them for I think like $80 the next day. Let's see, there was a few other thrift stores. They weren't like technically thrift stores. It was kind of just like, it was more of like a high-end thrift store. But I would find some shoes every now and then and kind of just sold those for a profit. Not even really thinking about sneaker resale. And this was way before that. But yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to flip stuff like that. I think I used to, I found like an iPad one time. I sold it for like 50 bucks profit on eBay and stuff like that. Thrift stores, it's definitely, there's a lot more that goes into it because you have to learn how to ship on eBay and like use your local marketplaces and stuff like that. But if you're down to learn, thrift stores are a great way to make some money during high school. Get yourself saved up for Christmas or birthday or whatever money you get. Put like 50 50 bucks into it, go to a thrift store, look up the item you're looking at on eBay, check the sold and completed listings, and you can kind of see what they're going for from there. And if it's not worth your time, don't waste your time. But if you do find a pretty good item, try to sell it, who knows? Um, and I'm honestly not sure if you can return stuff to thrift stores I've never tried, but you might be able to, so keep that in mind. And this next thing kind of goes hand in hand with thrift stores. It is swap meets. Swap meets are pretty much thrift stores, kind of, I don't know, not really. The one near me is the Rose Bowl flea market. And before the pandemic started, I would go there the first or second Sunday of every month. And this was before everybody was, and their mother was sneaker reselling. I would find these beat up Jordans, I would clean them up, and then I would sell them for like $100. I would buy them for 20, sell them for 100, stuff like that. Sometimes I would find clothes, but this is kind of the point after high school where I kind of wanted to make a little bit more money so I was kind of taking a little bit more serious. Next up, this is probably if you're a little bit older because I'm pretty sure you can't do this until you're 18 or older. Food delivery. I used to do DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, just like after I used to have a part-time job. After that, I would go work on DoorDash or something like that. Or sometimes I wouldn't even go into work because I hated it so much. And then I would go DoorDash or Uber Eats so my parents would still think I'm at work. So yeah, that was good little money, um, but it was kind of taking a toll on my car. I don't have the best car for that. If you have like a, some type of Prius or Honda or something like that, you should definitely consider food delivery if you have a little bit of extra time and you're willing to put a few miles on your car. But yeah, that was definitely a good way to make some money, especially if you get tips, your bread will start stacking pretty quickly. Next up, don't want to talk on this too much because I've only done it once, but mowing lawns. Mowing lawns is pretty decent money. I'm sure not everyone, but most people have a lawnmower at their house or something like that, unless you live like an apartment or something like that. Get the lawnmower, go make circles around your neighborhood, say, hey, can I mow your lawn for 15, 20 bucks? And then if they like you, you might be able to make it like a once every two week thing, once a week thing, and get repeat customers like that, and you're making $15. Okay, so say, 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 this is just hypothetical. You get five people and you cut their lawns every Saturday. Say you charge 15, 15 times five, that's $75. Say three of those people, you cut their lawns every week. That's some good consistent income. I'm not going to lie. And if you're smart with it, you can maybe build that into a little business, you know, maybe get a little truck, get employees, and then boom, bada bing, bada boom, you just built a little business for yourself and you didn't even try. 
try. Well, you did try, but you know what I mean? Like, you didn't really think about it too much. And that's kind of how things start. Like, I never would have expected me going to thrift stores and like swap meets and stuff like that to become my full-time job. It's crazy how things work out. Everything happens for a purpose. And apparently I was supposed to sell shoes in this part of my life. Next up, cause you know, tis the season and stuff like that. Um, I used to do this early high school. I would do people's Christmas lights. I, I'm not gonna lie. I've only done it three times, but I made some decent money every time. I did my neighbor's Christmas lights one year. I think I charged them like 50 bucks to put everything up. I think I did a family members. They gave me 50 bucks as well. And then my neighbor, I think I got like 40 or something like that. Cause sometimes people are old. They don't want to risk their life climbing up a ladder just to put up some Christmas lights. So they find some young kids like you or me at the time to put up their Christmas lights for 40 bucks. That's a pretty good deal, especially during the holiday season. Dude, you can run up a bag easy, especially if you put a little bit of thought into it, maybe make some business cards, flyers, dress professionally, um, and learn how to make a sale door to door. I feel like that's a pretty good way to make some bread and you can definitely turn it into like a business. Like it wouldn't be that hard. Maybe find like a friend, say you pay him 20 bucks, go do like 10 houses on a Saturday and you're making some decent bread. Not going to lie. So if you guys want me to go deeper into these little side hustles maybe one day we could do like a little versus thing like this side hustle versus this side hustle and then like do both for like a couple days and see which one makes more money i honestly feel like that's a really good video idea so hopefully no one takes it from me but let me know what you guys think down in the comments about that so next one is sneaker drops if you guys don't know sneakers are really hot right now you can buy a brand new shoe well not any brand new shoe but like if you buy a certain shoe for example let's use this is a bad example because it doesn't go for much but say nike drops these jordan ones don't mind the colorway because i know these don't go for much but say they drop these on a saturday you go for them and you hit them for 170 dollars retail plus tax so like 170 185 ish then what you do is you go check on a marketplace like StockX or goat or something like that and you see they're going for like maybe 250 300 bada bing bada boom you just made yourself 50 bucks i used to do that a lot in high school not so seriously though but i would go for supreme drops when it was super hype back in 2016 and i used to make some pretty decent money like that and i would just go for like random sneaker drawings and stuff like that and i would hit every so often and make a hundred dollars here fifty dollars there 25 here and towards the later part of high school i was making not a crazy amount but for high school it was pretty decent you know i was making some decent bread so i definitely recommend you guys doing or at least trying because like there's really no risk you enter a drawing you put in your credit card info if if you get it you get it if you don't you don't you know what i mean so i definitely recommend you guys look a little bit deeper into it because it's a lot more that goes into it than just what i'm saying uh, if you guys want i have a few videos on it you guys are gonna have to go to my channel and just scroll through it i have a few videos on like that next thing i want to talk about is if you really want to make money and do something you enjoy is find a skill find a skill and learn to monetize it say you're good at video editing or you like editing videos or maybe you like making youtube videos and you like the editing part go on like fiverr or something like that well first of all you need some prior experience so if you did make videos you can use those as your like kind of portfolio if you don't maybe say you'll edit a few videos for someone for free just so you can kind of build up a portfolio and you can go on websites like fiverr and charge people for your services because i know video editing is extremely in demand right now everybody wants to be a content creator and it would be a perfect opportunity for people that like editing to capitalize on people wanting to make content because a lot of people do not know how to edit their own videos i do but i just don't have the time to edit my own videos so thank you sheldon very much that is a great way to make some bread maybe you like baking learn how to monetize it you can make videos you can monetize those videos maybe get some sponsorships for uh rolling pins or whatever you use to bake along with that charge for your baking services and stuff like that you said you guys see what i'm saying just find your passion and learn to monetize it it doesn't it literally doesn't matter what your passion is. We live in a day and age where you can find your passion and monetize it and make a comfortable living. This is a bad example, but say you're a connoisseur of Sharpies. You collect Sharpie pens. Weirdly enough, there is probably other people in this world that collect Sharpies with you. And then you guys build up a little online community. You have people watching your videos. Soon enough, you get reached out to Sharpie and you have a sponsorship by Sharpie or something like that. I don't know. You can literally make money from literally anything. Like, I don't know, I don't know how else to put it, but just find your passion or your skill and learn to monetize it. There's so, so, so many ways to monetize it nowadays. It's just your job to go out there and look. Uh, I'll try to give everybody tips every now and then and stuff like that of like, kind of like lead you into the direction of where you want to go. But I can't do everything for you and I can't answer all your questions. Cause a big part of learning is doing it on yourself and messing up and learning from those mistakes. So yeah, I kind of feel like I went off on a tangent there for a second. Went off the video title of top five best side hustles for 
teens and stuff like that. But I don't know. I feel like that just needed to be said. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know. It's a little different. If you guys want me to make more stuff like this, or if you have some topics you guys want me to talk about, uh, drop them down in the comments below. Maybe leave a like or a dislike because YouTube doesn't show them anymore. So thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed the video, maybe consider subscribing or turning on the little bell notification so you guys know when I post. That would be super awesome. But thank you guys if you guys made it this far in the video. It truly means a ton. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling a dojo. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold up a foe, yeah.